It's been a while, but I'm back here at the lovely Bluebell Railway. Today is not kind of any special day on the line, but there's quite a busy schedule of trains, I think. Hi, uh, members ticket, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Starting here at Sheffield Park, I'm going to head all the way up to East Grinstead for a full run and then return back to Horsted Canes so that I can have a good wander around that station. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. The Golden Arrow service will be running for the pre-booked passengers. Loco 65 will be leading the way for that train. A quick visit to the loco shed reveals 21C159 Sir Archibald Sinclair in the workshop still, this being October 2023, but I think she's due back out later this year, having undergone a significant overhaul. Whitewick Hall will be the main engine in steam today and heads down platform two for some water before backing up to collect her set of carriages. Six nine eight nine Whitewick Hall is a GWR designed Hall class loco of 1948, built at Swindon. It's a familiar story about a loco being saved from the scrapyard, and this loco was rescued in just the same way. Notably, though, 6989 was the 150th loco to be saved from the Barry scrapyard. How about that? Owned by the Quainton Railway Society, I believe, the loco will be staying on Bluebell's rails for another year or so. With the permission from the signalman given to proceed, we're off on another magical trip up the line.
Just a quick stop here this time at Horsley Canes, we'll continue up to Kingscote and then East Grinstead for a return trip. D4106 is being used for driver training duties today and I have an idea we'll be seeing this loco guards van combo rather more during the day. Stopping for longer now at Horsted Canes, let's take a good look around the station.
This 350 horsepower diesel electric shunter was designed back in the 1950s for marshalling works in good yards. This old WH Smith's kiosk is a typical example of what would have been seen at many, many stations across the country. This one is used mostly for the sale of second-hand books and has been lovingly restored and cared for over all these years. This gorgeous SE and CR Loco number 65 pulls all the way through non stop with the Golden Arrow train on the way down to Sheffield Park. We'll see number 65 again later for sure. On platforms three and four, the restaurant, cafe, and lovely waiting room building is kept in excellent shape. I'll buy my lunch here today instead of travelling down to the park for a change. In between the train movements, Horsted Canes is a peaceful place. It used to be a junction station, but more about that at another time. Film companies like the Bluebell Railway and, as the sign shows, a well-known series includes this site as its station. And hey, look, the little Wickham trolley makes an appearance too, not wanting to be forgotten amongst the other workings of today.
Now then, this is a delightful set approaching here. Not only is it a joy to see Little Fenchurch out on the tracks today, I also like the next set of really old carriages too. Fenchurch is one of the oldest locos at the Bluebell, built in 1872 at Brighton under the direction of William Stradley. It's one of the very well-known terrier tanks which used to work the lighter loads on branch lines. Number 72 has recently been outshopped from having an overhaul. In the old yard area here, furthest from the station building, rests a broad collection of carriages and locos. Some items look very tired and forlorn. The building between platforms one and two includes a model railway to represent Sheffield Park Station and a cinema room. A great deal of remedial work has been undertaken on and around the main station buildings and on Platform 5. The platform surface is much better and now with the new paint so much else has been tidied up to include the removal of lots of untidy cable bundles which used to clutter up the outside brickwork. So much better, well done to the Bluebell teams.
the carriage shed is closed today but if you've not seen around inside do take a look at my earlier bluebell visit when i had the chance of taking part in a guided tour Very kindly, the signalman has let me take a peek in the box. It's been many years since I've been up here. What a fantastic view and an impressive array of levers and equipment to operate.
Well, for me, the day needs to come to a close, so I step aboard the next southerly service back to the park. you've enjoyed tagging along with me today please do click on the playlist link which follows as you'll find many videos listed where I visited other heritage railways up and down the country
from the lovely Bluebell Railway. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Thank you.